In this video, I'm going over the second week of the dividend investing challenge and how I've decided to invest the hundred dollars this week. Welcome to the channel. My name is Abdul. On this channel, I talk about dividend investing and personal finance. So make sure to subscribe to the channel to be notified of new videos that I post. So like I said, this week is the second week of the dividend investing challenge. So I invested another hundred dollars this week and I'm going to take you over what I've decided to invest the money on this week. But actually, before we go over what I invested in this week, I just wanted to let you know in case if you hadn't seen it in my last video, I compared M1 Finance and Robinhood and I was telling you guys uh, the reason why I decided to switch over the challenge from Robinhood to M1 Finance. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you go onto the channel and check that video out. But to give you the simple rundown, the reason why I switch from Robinhood to M1 Finance is because I believe M1 Finance is more geared towards what I was trying to do. It is more geared towards long-term investing and Robinhood, in my opinion, is more geared towards people who are trading on a consistent base basis. I still have my Robinhood account, uh, as you guys can see on the screen right now. I still have about $421 on there and I am not going to shut that account down. I'm just going to keep that more for speculative trades, things that are more like gambles. <laughs> um, whatever I want to, I will use that account for that. But for my M1 finance, I'm going to show you guys in a second. That is going to be more for my long term investing in the dividend investing challenge. OK, so let's get on to the M1 finance and I'll show you exactly how that look and what I bought this week. So here we are on my M1 Finance account. I am calling it the Abdul's Passive Income. And as you guys can see uh, on the screen right now, right here it says I have uh, $97.09 invested so far. And we have a market gain of $1.34, uh, which is about 1.4% returns since I invested. So since I switched over from Robinhood, I've only, I only have $100 in this account so far. So with M1 Finance um, this week, what I did was I let them invest it for me. And uh, the way it invested it for me was true. Um, again, if you saw my last video when I was comparing uh, Robinhood to M1 Finance, uh, and one of the reasons why I wanted to switch to M1 Finance was because it's a much a better way to visualize your account and also to set up your account for long-term investing so i set it up wherein they themselves can invest for you right um I, I set it up and i created different they call them pies so i created uh, a pie of uh, different industries so here we have uh, tech we have healthcare we have real estate consumer finance utilities telecom industries and energy I'm actually going to add a slice that I'm going to call ETFs and I'm going to in that particular slice, I'm going to put in uh, a bunch of different ETFs that are paying good dividends. Okay, here to the right of each slice. So the tech slice um, right now, I want the portfolio to have, you see, we have actual versus target, right? So the actual right now is 23. 0.9%, but the target that I would like this account to have, um, my portfolio to have is about 23% of um, tech companies for my portfolio. So right now it's a little bit above that, which is 0.9%. Um, and the good feature about M1 Finance is that when I do deposit more money, if they are to invest it for me again, they will kind of figure out a way eventually to where it is at that 23%. Regardless, they invested $95.75 of the money that I, of the $100 that I invested. M1 Finance automatically invested all that and they divided it into the different industries. So each industry, like tech, let's say for instance, it has different companies that I put into it. This is Apple, Microsoft, MasterCard, and Visa, okay? And I'm not going to go through all the different companies in each of the different pies for right now. I just want you guys to know that that's the way it works. So here's the, the pie over here where we have the $97 invested in the market so far. And if you 
uh, hover over each different slice it tells you what that is so this is tech this is healthcare this is quite a small account and as you guys can see only 97 dollars so far so it should have been since this is the second week it should be about 200 dollars in the account right now but because i switch from Robinhood to m1 finance there is only 100 dollars in this account so i'm actually thinking what do you guys think i'm thinking maybe i should just retitle this particular video as the week one i think that's what i'm going to do just to kind of keep it on a uh, much more uniform way of labeling the uh, the videos moving forward instead of people coming um let's say next week if i say that's the third week but i only have 200 dollars in this account when i should have 300 dollars because the challenge was to invest a uh, hundred dollars every single week um into that account and then use that to invest so yeah i think i'm going to definitely change it into i'm going to turn this particular video to the week one so it's almost like we are starting from scratch for the dividend investing challenge even though we are not okay so let's see going back to robin hood right here for for a minute as you guys can see i still have that 421 dollars in that account but like i said i'm not i'm no longer using robin hood for this challenge okay what i'm going to do is i'm just going to focus on m1 finance mm -hmm. and i'm going to use robin hood more of as um for my speculative um investments okay so because robin hood gives me a little bit more flexibility to decide exactly at what price i want to buy the set in stocks okay and with m1 finance that's the one of the downside it doesn't allow me to decide exactly at what price i want to buy i just have to tell them i want to buy this particular stock today and they would execute that trade for me whether um but if i miss the window of trade i'll have to wait till the next window of trade usually which is going to be the next day so that's the downside of robin hood i mean sorry m1 finance but for the goal of the passive income portfolio that is a-ok -okay, like i said in my last video so again if you haven't seen that video make sure you go and watch that where i compare robin hood and m1 finance i do have to say a shout out to joseph carlson he's a youtuber who is very very much into dividend investing as well i learned a lot from his page um, and the portfolio that I actually have right now is based off of his portfolio and the reason why I decided to kind of copy his portfolio was just because I believe that we have the same line of thinking and he already did a lot of the uh, upfront work on some of these companies. I'm going to be tweaking that as I go forward and right now I just wanted to uh, see how his portfolio would do and exactly also just kind of test out the M1 finance platform. So moving forward most likely i'm going to be tweaking it um i may take out certain stocks i may keep some of them plus my account is very low right now so it, i don't necessarily think it makes sense to keep the auto invest on wherein um it's, it's going to be spreading out the money uh to each different uh industry okay uh, so for instance let's again if you go into tech for instance right i have all these apple microsoft mastercard and visa and if you look at the amount that I own for them, Apple, I only have like $14 invested in that. Microsoft, $4.62. And then MasterCard, about $2.31. And then Visa, $2.28. So these are pretty, um, very, very fractional of the share price itself, okay? Which means that when the time do come for the dividends, I'm actually just going to be receiving probably pennies of those dividends. And so, I don't necessarily think it's a great idea for a portfolio like mine right now to follow 100% Joseph Carlson's um, portfolio. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to, like I said, moving forward, I'm going to uh, I'm going to stop the auto invest based off of that um, uh, pie. I'm going to be doing my own research and uh, deciding exactly which stocks I'm going to buy moving on forward. But this was a great introduction to M1 Finance and. I am very, very much appreciative of Joseph Carlson's work. Thank you. So if you haven't seen his channel and uh, you are interested in dividend investing, you could go take a look at his channel as well. Question of the day. What are you guys thinking about the dividend investing challenge so far? Uh, is that something that interests you? And are you planning on getting into dividend investing as well or just some form of investing? 
If so, let me know in the comments down below and let's get the conversations going. If you find any value in this video, please make sure to like the video, share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like these. Until next time, stop waiting, start doing and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace and love to all of you out there.